Welcome to the video guide for Lilith's Encroaching Wrath Master, part of the new Rise of the Sinister Dominion series of boss fights released as part of patch 2.5.1 of Dragalia Lost. Master Lilith currently only has a solo version of the fight, but requires you to field two full light and water teams. My name is Xenozillus, and let's get straight to it. Master Lilith adds only a few mechanic variations onto the second form of the expert fight, and one new mechanic. If you've watched my previous expert guide, you'll already know about 90% of the fight. This guide will cover just the differences between expert and master, rather than spoon feed every mechanic in the master fight to you. If you need a refresher for the other mechanics, check out my comprehensive expert guide. Master Lilith retains her previous abilities, but the Curse of Nihility now lasts much longer per application, removing the brief windows where the curse would fall off. As always, certain mechanics and attacks will be skipped or repeated based on phase progression and remaining hit points. First up, the first mechanic to see a change is Candy Shower. It now leaves puddles for all three AoEs rather than just the first. Give yourself some space to move between them or place these at the edge of the arena so that you can handle other mechanics with as much space as possible. After this, you'll see arena-wide lasers. Parallel lasers will fire into the arena from the top right and bottom left, dealing moderate damage. They overlap in the middle, however, so move towards the lasers to prevent being hit by two at once. If you've got a Hildegard shield on, there's a chance that it nullifies the hit, so you'll have to experiment to see if you can be greedy and maintain uptime. Once you start breaking Lilith's wings, the telegraphs from the lasers will go from purple to red, allowing you to iframe. Breaking the right wing will make the bottom lasers red, and vice versa. Next up, Candy Prism now fires two sets of arena dividing lasers instead of just one, so if you move to the wrong safe spot, you'll be completely cut off until the prison resolves. Not too bad in solo, since the AI always moves to the bottom of the right, but this could be troublesome in co-op if people aren't coordinated. Sweet Circle now becomes a bit more fiddly. When the mechanic starts, two glowing points will spawn in the bottom left and top right, spawning damaging cages when the staff drops a circle AoE on them. You'll need to watch for where the staff starts, move to the opposite side and then manoeuvre anti-clockwise behind the staff so that you don't get cut off by the cage. Once you get Lilith to 50% hit points, it'll trigger a team change. There aren't any new mechanics here, it's just that everything is now in a different colour. Not even the telegraphs, just the literal particle effects are now red tinted. Complete the mechanics in the same way as before, and you'll have your master clear before you know it. There's not too much to be said about common mistakes, as we're not really tackling the fight in co-op just yet. But the mechanic I took a while to get the hang of myself was mainly the sweet circle pre-positioning. It was fairly simple once I properly processed it in my head, however. Team composition advice remains similar to Expert on the light side of the team, but for water I've seen good things about Tiki, Pinon, Forager Cleo, Fjorm, and Catherine amongst others. When it comes to healing in water, Jiang Zia and Spiral Trickart can handle the healing easily with their heals over time, whereas Dragon Your Lily may require some shared skill help. As I mentioned in my expert video, my word is not gospel when it comes to team compositions. Do your own experimentation and watch other uploaded clear videos, you might find some advice that differs from mine. If you have any further questions, feel free to leave a comment or pop by my Twitch streams. I stream Wednesdays and Saturdays at 9.30pm GMT. As always, take it easy, stay safe, and I'll see you next time.